Hello teachers! Thank you so much for the feedback that you guys gave on the Google Meet uh, tutorial that was prepared the other day. So today we want to look into this uh, uh, extension called Group, uh, Read View extension uh, and how we are able to see all your students in one frame. Like uh, what you're seeing now here, I'll just show you what it means here. You can see like for example in a in a in a Google Meet, like for example in your class, right? If you click on this three box button, you can change the layout, right? You can change the different layout where you have one person, especially the person who is speaking or the person you pin in the set in the center, and all your other students are at the side. Or you can change the layout to a spotlight. The spotlight means you can spotlight only the person who is talking. Yeah. Or another layout that you can go to is called the tout layout. Um, you can use the tout layout uh, that is by default or that is given in the Google Meet. But the one weakness is that it can only pick up to 16 people at one time or 16 small webcams at one time. So you'll be only seeing 16 students. So today I want to share with you this extension called Grid View where you'll be able to see all your students. Yeah. So what you need to do is to uh, firstly, um, let me close this, okay? And you want to open a new tab and go to Chrome Web Store. Okay, here, Google Chrome Web Store. And inside Google Chrome Web Store, you need to search in the store for Google Meet Grid view yeah there you go that is the one this one with the nine boxes if you can see this is called the Google Meet Grid view so click on add to Chrome and they will ask you do you want to add Google Grid Meet Grid view yes add the extension and here you see these nine boxes will appear right on top of your Google Chrome yeah, uh, web, uh, this is called a web a browser. And yeah, this is just an information telling you that it's done. Okay, so you can close that. And now you can now go back to open your Google Meet. So I will join back that Meet that I had started a while ago. Okay. And here, now you can see that there is an extra button right on the left side here. And in this extra button, yeah, I can turn it on. Yeah, this is when I can see this is me. Yeah, this is me there. And, and you can either turn it on or off. And this is off. Yeah, that means you do not, uh, you don't see yourself in there. So there is a few things in here which I like to bring you through. Yeah, you can see there are a few options. Number one, only show participants with video. Yeah, you can turn it on or you can turn it off. Yeah. So it means that it only shows participants that has video. Yeah, if there's no video, it will not show on your screen. Uh, um, highlight speakers. Yeah. Uh, when somebody is talking, you will see a a yellow box around the webcam. Yeah. And then you can also tick on or off or include yourself in the grid, whether you want yourself to be in the grid or not. Now, let me turn it on so you can see the difference. Yep. Once I yeah, turn myself on, you, see, you can see that this is me. I, I can't, you can't see my webcam now because I'm using it for recording at this point in time. Yeah? Now, you can enable grid view by default. That means the moment you come into Google Meet, it will always already be in this grid view by default. Yep, you can choose you want it or you don't want it, up to you. Yep, enable screen capture mode here means the moment I do this, you can see it will count up and all the names of your students will be disappeared and you can do, a, I suppose, a selfie or now we call it a wifi, yeah, a picture, something like that, right? Now, there are some advanced settings here. You can look into it. Um, here, it talks about the toolbar behavior always show toolbar and resize grid yep so this is a few options i prefer to see my toolbar down there all the time so it is easier for me 
If you do not want, you can always go for this one. Now you can see that it will obscure the toolbar when the toolbar is showing. Yeah. So when sometimes when you do not, you pull it up, you see that it, the toolbar has gone. Yeah. And when you to yeah, it will obscure the view. Yeah. The grid will be obscured. Or it means it will be, it will cover the the grid. You can resize the grid. Yeah. Like now. Yeah. When the toolbar is showing. Yeah. So when I don't have the toolbar down there, that you will you have a full screen. But personally, I like my toolbar to be down there, so it's easier for me to access my uh, my camera, my uh, what do you call this, my, my my microphone, you know, or sometimes when I can do my presentation, I, I like it to be down there. All right, so up to you. Here, uh, chat and people behavior. Do you want it to obscure the grid when chat is showing, or you want to resize the grid? Yeah, it's really up to you. You can choose the options. Um, you want to keep the video mirrored or not? Uh, that is really an, uh, your option. Okay. And here, I find this one important. Eh? Take note of this. This one is a never show presentation on grid. Yeah, that means uh, you will not be able to see your presentation. I think by default, when you come in, this is what uh, is being uh, given to you. So if you do not see your presentation on the grid, remember to come here and turn it on. Right? Show presentation in grid when you include yourself in the grid is selected. Yeah. Uh, but for me, I for me, I personally like to always show my presentation on the grid so I know what I am presenting. Okay. So modify uh, participant names. Yeah. Whether you want to modify it by the first word to the end or uh, up to you. Yeah. That is really for you to choose. And lastly, the video quality automatic based on video size and number of participants. I think that's fine. I will leave it there for the moment. So once that's done, yeah, and that's it. So the, it's working now. You can turn it off. Yeah, or, or you can turn it on as and when you like. Yep. So if you go, you will see, yeah, it can actually hold up to many, many people. Yep, it can hold up to many, many people. Those people who have turned on the camera and those people who have not turned on the camera. And I think that would be something that would be very useful, especially when you have a bigger class, yeah, when you have 30 to 50 people. So, yeah, I hope this is useful to all of you. And uh, do give me some feedback and do let me know uh, what is it that you want to, to, to know so that we can try to find out new stuff online and we can share it with each other. Okay, thank you very much.